नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रों वेलकम टू डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस वेलकम टू डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग एंड सिक्स सेमेस्टर दिस इज द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिप्लोमा सिक्स सेमेस्टर द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज थ्री थ्री सिक्स जीरो नाइन जीरो एट नेम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इज इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सेस माई सेल्फ हर्षद भाकर वेलकम टू टू डेज सेशन ओके सो लेट सी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर first we will see the classification of electrical installation there are two types of electrical installation first one is non industrial building second one is industrial building the building which is used which are used in industry is called industrial building the building which are not used in industry is called non industrial building so let's see one by one each okay non industrial building there are more types in non industrial building they may be classified as domestic installation in which one or two family flats apartment houses office building and shopping complexes office and building shopping okay education buildings like college classes center and schools assembly building like lok sabha rajya sabha any hall okay medical establishment like uh, hospital nursing college hotel installation which type of installation is used in il- hotel that may be classified into hotel installation storage building <coughs> sports building multi stored building uh, which type of electrical installation are used in sports building multi stored building that will be discussed in this module okay L- let's see next non industrial building they may be classified on different way first is classification based on fire safety there there may be three levels low medium and high hazards first level low level that is called g1 that is called g1 in which hazards risk is very less medium level hazard risk is average and g3 level subdivision g3 high hazard risk classification next is classification based on power transmission that may be classified depending on the power transmitted to the industry for um, there are three types of industry that may be classified on power transmission first is small industry that is classified power transmitted to the industry is up to 50 kva 50 kilowatt ampere second is medium industry medium industry that may be capable of 50 kva to 2000 kva third one is large industry that may be their range may be about 2000 kva now next is classification based on pollution how much pollution environment get affected due to industrial operation that may be classified depending upon the pollution degree pollution degree 1 2 3 4 s n s seen in the fire safety so this was the industrial building classification now let's see the next outdoor installation there are three types of outdoor installation first one is public lighting installation in which public are considered most second one is temporary installation means it may be temporary third one is permanent outdoor installation means it is outdoor installation but it may re- hap- remain after the temporary period okay so let's see next public lighting installation factors which are considered for public lighting installation are lighting source which type of lighting sources are used in a public lighting which type of traffics are there which type of traffic routes are cleared city centers which is the design so these are the some examples of public lighting system likewise you can see the road width is 80 to 20 meter and d is the distance between two poles so here are the examples of the road which is width width is 18 to 20 meter right next is the example of road which 
width is 24 meter here you can see the lighting system location of poles are at the center position now next is the lighting system location of the pole is at various distances so you can see the images okay uh, various road buildings are considered in the public lighting likewise L section, T section, which are the location of poles, which are the location of illuminates. Here are the various examples of lighting system. Likewise, over bridge, under bridge, six lane, four lane, eight lanes, and various location of poles are decided on the permanent location. So here are the examples of various outdoor installations. So you can see. Now next is the temporary installation. The timing of this temporary installation is maximum up to 6 months. Beyond 6 months it may not be called temporary installation. First, timing up to 6 months. Likewise, public engineering work, building work, it is also called temporary installation. Timing up to 45 days. It is called technical fair exhibition. Likewise, festival days. It is a temporary installation for 7 days. Timing up to 24 hours, likewise marriage function, school function, college function, regulation function, it is called a temporary installation. The lighting which are not permanent and uh, which is only on wooden poles is called temporary installation. So let's see next. Permanent outdoor installation is dependent upon the loading condition, operation, duty cycles, Transport condition likewise airport railway station bus station container terminals which are already permanent and public so These are the electrical installation which are called permanent installation So let's see some graphical symbols for the electrical installation used in Electrical layout so let's see first main fuse board without switches is called uh, is described by these symbols main fuse board without switches black symbol main fuse board without switches and lighting this will be described by this okay and uh, uh, rectangular box and half uh, dark half half open okay now main fuse board with without switches without power is will be described by rectangular box inside of another rectangular board now next is main switchboard so these are the symbols that it has been used in the electrical layout drawing electrical layout okay now let's see one by one okay so these were the symbols for controlling electrical uh, control gear and distribution fuse board now next are the symbols for sealing outlets so you can see one by one Okay, next are the symbols of socket outlet. So you can see remembering each term while drawing the electrical layouts. Here next are the symbols of bells and buzzers and alarms. So you can see and remember that while drawing electrical layout. So next are the symbols of fire alarms. How will you describe the fire alarm in the electrical layout? Public addressing system, likewise amplifier, mic, control board, microphone outlets. So here are the symbols of that public lighting, uh, public addressing system. Fix apertures output and earthing is common. Now other symbols are also there. So we can see the next. Okay. 